Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we have an unboxing and it is some glossy box mystery boxes. So I ordered two of these um, for the Black Friday deal and I was waiting a little bit of time because one of them was coming from a different warehouse and I think Royal Mail was having issues. The other one came with Hermes and that came much quicker. But I have my two boxes here. Um, they are different. We did this time get um, options to pick so you could pick like I think I picked one and three which meant that they should be different because they were different numbers and that was the case with my boxes. So I'm going to dive in and show you what we've got. So we'll start off with box number one. This is the first one to arrive and this is in the traditional glossy box pink box. It was upside down, apologies, it's now the right way up. Um, and inside, it's not a past box um, because it doesn't have a leaflet and yeah, I can tell by the contents it's not a past box, but that is not a problem. I think we need to remember when, when um, ordering mystery boxes, there's a reason that companies do mystery boxes and that is to clear stock. There is no point in them doing mystery boxes with products that are going to be useful to them going forward for future boxes. <laughs> the whole point of a mystery box and the fact that it is cheaper is stock clearance. And that is that is the way for, I think, 100% of companies. Um, I don't think I've ever had a mystery box from any company that wasn't kind of stock clearance. Um Doll Beauty, for instance, we had uh, we had a lot of um, lipsticks in, and they have changed the packaging, so that was their way of getting out the old stock and bringing in the new packaging. Um, the Be Perfect one recently had a lot of tanning products, and I presume that was their way of getting the tanning products out. Um, and likewise with other mystery boxes that you do get you know from anywhere that you get them from there's generally a reason that they are cheaper and it's not to be nice <laughs> to the customers although it is nice to get a deal it is usually because um companies have surplus stock and that is just the be all and end all um so yeah remembering that when we're diving in because they were only five pounds at the end of the day um they were five pound plus postage i ordered two i only paid one postage yet they came separately so that's another thing to consider you know i only paid i think it was 13 pound in total something like that for these two boxes so i shouldn't be expecting hundreds of pounds worth of products if that makes sense so yeah let's dive on in so this is the first box that i've received and as i say this is a miss this is a sort of um mixed bag of past items from what i can tell although i haven't received some of these products before but it might have been in months where i wasn't subscribed i'm not 100 percent sure so this is the first product and it is the Amit Makeup um, Lash Curlers. Now lash curlers do seem to be doing the rounds at the moment. So I mean I do get that people are disappointed with lash curlers because we do seem to get a lot of them in beauty boxes. Um, but if you don't have any lash curlers it is a great product to get. That is not something that I would be keeping personally. I did kind of pick these up though to put you know bits away for future giveaways and things like that so a lot of these items were destined to be sort of stock in my um giveaway box so it doesn't really matter to me if any of these products are duplicates or things i've had before because i wasn't planning on keeping everything anyway um so next up we have a bang beauty eyeliner um so i think this is a liquid one I mean, I've had this in the past, but I can't remember if I've used it or not. I think it might still be sealed. Um, yeah, so it is It is a um, felt tip one. It is still sealed, so I'll keep it that way. It'll last that bit longer. And to be honest, as I said in a previous video, as I said in my Birchbox unboxing, I went through a stage of having loads and loads and loads of liquid eyeliners, but now I've had a big clear out, got rid of all the ones that are that old, they've dried out 
and I don't actually have that many and it's nice to have a couple of backups so I'll probably keep that one for myself as a backup black felt tip eyeliner um, the next product is in a little bag and from what I've heard on social media this is probably a bobble yeah so this looks to be um, I can't think of the brand Invisibobble, it looks like an Invisibobble. I don't know whether it is that brand or whether it's like a Glossy Box branded one because it's got a Glossy Box sticker on it. But it's that kind of style. And um, yeah, it's not the most ideal thing for a item because it is quite small. But, you know, I do use these types of bobbles so it's not the end of the world if that makes sense. So I'll just use it. It'll get used up. Then we have the, is it Orza lipstick? This is in my favourite shade. This is in the shade, I can't say it, but it is like this really light nude. I actually have one of these and I have a backup because I purchased a backup off somebody that didn't want theirs because I love the colour so, so much. But I don't think I need a third one. So this is going to go in my giveaway box. But what I'll do is I'll fish the one that I've got that's open out. And I will show you a swatch. Because I absolutely love the shade. So that's it there. It's very, very pale. I love this. And when I got it, I was really, really pleased with it. So yeah, if I hadn't already got that one, I would have been pleased with it, but I have, so I'm going to pop that in a future giveaway. Um, the next one is, again, a palette that I already have, but again, it's very, very pretty, so it'll just go in my giveaway box. So it looks like this. And that's it there. It is a very, very pretty palette gorgeous shimmer shades so yeah that is going in my giveaway box so that was my first box and here comes the most exciting box I am over the moon with this one that one was okay and it's fine because I was wanting giveaway items and I do think other than maybe the the bobble I'll just keep that and the eyeliner, I'll just keep that because those are things that I will use. The other three bits will go in a giveaway and I think they are pretty decent products to put in uh, future giveaways. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So next, this is my next mystery box. Now, I, um, if you're not aware, I get um, Glossy Box PR and this is the Octobers of this year. I got the other one, so I got the dark blue one, and this is the different colour, so this is the light blue one. So I'm really pleased to receive this. Um, again, because I've had it once, um, there are duplicates, however, I'm not mad about that. So the first one we have is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil hydrating gel so this is a hydrating primer now i'm happy to have a duplicate of this because i mean they are quite mini but it's also an amazing brand and an amazing product so i still not got around to trying mine but i've tried the illuminating one which i love that one i purchased a while back um, but I haven't tried the one from my other glossy box, but I will be keeping this as well because, you know, they're not that massive. So if I do end up liking it, I've got a backup. If I'm not too keen, I will pass it along because with these type of things, if you don't like it, it's not because it's a bad product. It's generally speaking because it's not suitable for your skin type or it's not suitable with the products that you like to use on the regular basis. You do try, kind of need to match up your primers with your foundations. A bit like oil and water don't mix. You don't really want a, a water-based something with an oil-based something. It kind of doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a try, see what it's like. And if I like it, I'm keeping the second one. 
Then we've got a different um, bath dust. So this is the lavender version. I think it was the rose version that I got. I can't 100% remember, but I definitely don't think it was lavender. So this one is different. And I love a bit of bubble tea. I love a bit of bath products. So yeah, this one I'm pleased with. We then have a under eye enhancer. Now this one wasn't one that was in my box previously. And I'm not even sure that's what's on this card. Oh, it is. They must have done slightly different cards. So yeah, that is the one that's on this card. And this is a dark circle eraser. It helps with puffiness, fine lines for up to 10 hours. Oh my goodness. This sounds like a product that I um, tested on my channel back in December last year. Um, this sounds exactly like it. It basically, you put it on your eyes and it doesn't fix your eyes. It is a cosmetic product. And I used a similar one by Vitae's. Um, they sent it me in PR and I tried it on my channel and it kind of like reduced everything and sucked everything like this. And it was amazing. And I think this is a similar situation. So we're going to have to try this on a video, but I'm pretty sure it's the same sort of thing. So you put the product on and then the product like stretches your skin, almost like, you know, gluing your skin like this. And then, you know, your bags are tight and things. Um, and then you put your makeup over the top. I think this is from what I've just read on the card is very, very similar. So we are gonna do a little test at some point in the next couple of weeks on that because I'm very, very intrigued. Um, next we have a lipstick by Luna and Luna in the shade Pixie. Now I'm not 100% what shade I got in the blue version previously, so I'm gonna just double check. I think it might be in my drawer. Yep, yeah, so I did get Pixie previously, so this one is going in a giveaway. And then the Beauty Crop product that I got last time was in a Ryan Glow. Now let's see what shade this one is. Okay, it is the same. I thought they were gonna be different shades. So that's the new one. I've not obviously swatched it or anything. Okay, they are the same. So, the new one is going in a giveaway. But I'm still not mad because I wanted some decent products for giveaways and I've got some decent products for giveaways. I was expecting to get duplicates of things I've already received because at the end of the day, mystery boxes are stock clearance in every single um, company or all the ones that I know of so far, the ones I've tried have definitely been that stock clearance. And I knew I was going to get duplicates. I really bought these mainly for um, giveaway purposes. Um, and I was thinking, well, if, I've, if everything that I get is stuff I've had, that's absolutely fine. I will pop them in giveaways. I'm lucky enough to receive um, PR on a monthly basis at the moment with glossy box so don't pay for my products so to pay such a small amount to get some products to pop in a giveaway is you know it's a good deal for me personally so I'll show you the pile that I've got for giveaways now and I'll show you what I'm keeping yeah so out of the 10 items um, I'm gonna pop six into future giveaways so that's the six I'm going to pop in and I do think they're decent prizes for people to re receive obviously when I do a giveaway box I do a few items together so it's not like you're just going to win our lipstick it will be a mix um this isn't a giveaway video by the way I will be doing separate giveaway videos so don't comment on here saying can I have these they are for future giveaways that is why I've bought these so these are the items that are going in a future giveaway so we've got two lipsticks we've got a blusher we've got an eyeshadow we've got a um, lash curler and we've got a lavender um, bath dust 
although I could have kept that I've just decided to pop it in the giveaway anyway just to treat my um, subscribers and then I'll be keeping the eye product because we need to test this on the channel um, I'll be keeping the Illa Mascara um, Hydra Veil because I do feel like this is going to be a great product I just haven't got around to trying it yet I feel like I'm going to love it so we will see I'm not obviously open them both I'll keep one as a backup just in case but I feel like I will love that product um, I'm going to keep the eyeliner just because as I say I've not got as many as I used to have so I'd like to start building up my stash of eyeliners again and then I'll be keeping the bobble just because it's a bobble and I will use it and it's not that exciting to sort of give in a giveaway but it's something that I will get use out of. So all in all I'm pretty impressed. I'm quite happy with the items that I've got because they are items that are gonna come to good use um i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give me a thumbs up it really does help my channel and i hope to see you in the video again soon bye